Back in the 80s and 90s, people started growing on the whole idea of public access, meaning that anything could be on TV. It doesn't matter what it could be, as long as it airs on TV. One of these shows was a cryptic and disturbing news show called, Goodnight USA, a mockumentary ABC-NBC parody news show that followed a news anchor, a newswoman, and even a weather guy. Facts. I'll try my best to explain each character and their quirks in the show. The news anchor, Jonathan Prince, is your average good-looking yet disheveled-looking news anchor who runs the operation. He's described as being uncomfortable to listen and look at, he has noticeably bulging eyes, and a very menacing glare. He speaks in a fancy sophisticated tone, along with having a slight evil edge with some points. The quirks he brings in the show is often interacting with the other news people, and often joining with the cameraman in segments called, What's at Night in the US? Jonathan's assistant and newswoman, Jennifer Lansoul, is an interesting woman. She's described as looking professional, but she often speaks in a very annoying or grating voice, some described it as nails on a chalkboard or someone screaming while losing their voice. The only recognizable quirk she does is mention the weather guy and is said to have a crush on the same guy. The weather guy, the final guy build up, Jordan Japlusky. He's a Russian-American man who can operate on helicopters, often the cameraman in segments, and does the weather. He speaks in a fluent Russian flair in his voice. He's described as being almost like a father figure with a bushy mustache, thick glasses, and sometimes wears a Russian coat. The only quirk Jordan brings is his accent, his camera work, and often trying to spice things up with the weather, by mentioning phrases to get people hyped or advise them to stay inside. The pilot aired on June 20, 1984, on WXFT-23 outside of Ohio, Florida, Canada, and in some corners of Michigan. The pilot starts with news music before it slowly fades to the two. Good evening or night, and welcome to your new addiction. Your new news channel, it's Good Night USA, the channel that brings you nightly news. Our top story, a local man won $50,000 before ended up getting cancer. That's something new. What a shame. Let's go to Jordan with the weather. Jordan. We've got big storms coming to Battle Creek, and the big... The screen cuts to black abruptly, before cutting to a forest with the camera crew going up to people. It seems normal, but at the end. Each time they finish, they'd stab, full-on knife plunged deep. The entire segment was nothing but the news people walking up to other people, getting their word, stab, repeat. It gets pretty old, until two minutes later, when the camera snaps to black, then snaps back to the news people back at the studio with sickening grins and blood soaked on their clothes. We'll be back after these sponsors, Jonathan whispered. The screen cut to black and played commercials. Jesus Christ on a bicycle. Upon returning, it showed Jennifer on the seat. On the next bit of news, we've got word that our sponsor CEO died due to cancer. Then she started laughing. The others joined along. Then the screen started distorting and cutting to random shots of the three writhing and shaking their heads while screeching noises were heard. The final bits of the insane news show ended with Jordan, sitting by the weather board and saying, I'll get you before the news broadcast ended abruptly. Holy shit, that entire paragraph was just one insanely complex sentence. To this day, five of the missing ten episodes were found on bootleg VHS tapes, which contains recordings of each episode. They are removed online due to its heavy blood and gore content, along with its disturbing and grotesque sense of humor. Soon, the next episode will be revealed. We'll be right back with the show after our word with our sponsors. Tripping balls.